So it is my pleasure on behalf of the Interim National Coordinator of the National COVID-19 Emergency Response Center, NACOVAC, Brigadier Retired Kelly Conte, and the entire family here at NACOVAC to receive our esteemed entertainment ambassador, Carl De Nero, who is here, and I'm sure it has to do with issues relating to entertainment for which he has such a great passion. And His Excellency the President has made no mistake to validate his efforts and appoint him as distinguished ambassador for that sector. So I am so delighted on behalf of NACOVAC to receive you, and I say welcome to you, Cardinal. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Um, definitely, it's my pleasure being here. You know, I want to thank NACOVAC for the great work you guys have been doing. Um, I come here in the capacity of our industry as an ambassador you know, appointed by His Excellency. I've been working behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen, trying to appeal and engage our stakeholders to see how best they can consider the constraints that our industry has been going through. And um, as a gentleman that you are, you have given us the audience, you know, I want to commend you for that. And um, definitely want to congratulate you because we just got the information that the ban has been lifted. You know, the curfew has been lifted which is a great start. It encourages us and our industry to further more engage and see how best we can work modalities and making sure that we can start performing. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so, um, so once the public notice was issued and it went viral, I also received so many calls, lawyers calling, um, uh, people in the entertainment sector also calling. So it's a good thing that you are here um, as we all know, um, government has fought a good fight with the cooperation of the people of Sierra Leone, and that is how we have been able to manage COVID-19 so that it has not spiraled out of control. Um, I'm sure in the last 24 hours we recorded four cases, um, two outbound and two from routine, um, so which brings our cumulative confirmed cases to about 3,953. Um, so we have been able to keep risks very low, and that is why um, a lot of sectors have been affected, including the entertainment sector. Um, I want you to rest assured that NACOVAC, the government, we have been thinking very seriously about the entertainment sector. We understand that before we recorded our first case, um, the entertainment sector, people like you, cancelled shows and you lost hundreds of millions, perhaps billions of loans. And so we know that that entertainment, the entertainment sector has been severely affected. Definitely. And all of us have been looking forward to the time when the environment will be conducive, really, so that we get back to normalcy. So as you rightly said, yes, um, with the state of public emergency that has lapsed, it makes sense that also the curfew um, be lifted as well, because there are implications around fundamental freedoms, including the freedom of movement. So we believe that this is a very good time, Ambassador, yes, um, you have chosen to come to NACOVAC. This is a very good time, because with this new development, I think we should be able to engage more um, um, to continue to create the necessary respite for the sector. You people want to have your shows, Definitely. at different places. Um, so what has been happening is people who want to have events, we've been encouraging them to come to NACOVAC, give us an idea where the venue is, what is the capacity, what is the nature of the program, so that NACOVAC could partner with you to make sure that the atmosphere is serene, to make sure that we don't create an atmosphere where you'll have exposure to risks and so um, I, I believe that we will have to cooperate along that line. Definitely. Um, so Caldinero wants to have a show somewhere. I'm sure we should be able to sit down and plan with you so that people understand exactly how to attend such programs and be very responsible. Because you don't want a situation where we have successfully been able to manage and lower the risks, and all of a sudden you realize, ah, at that event, right. 100 people who were tested proved right. to be positive. Right. You know, you don't want that stigma to really define your show. So um, I think it, we have entered into an era of um, relaxation of restrictions, but which also requires a greater sense of responsibility. Right. 
So, and I believe that with the entertainment sector, we will now continue to engage and we encourage people who will be having programs. Don't hesitate to reach out to NACOVAC. I mean, what we want to do is to partner with you and make sure that we cooperate and have a very good framework where people could attend those programs. You know, they could enjoy themselves, but at the end of the day, we are able to minimize or eliminate any risk yes. um, of exposure to the infection. So this is a very good time that Cal De Nero has come, and, and I feel so delighted. I, I'm just off the phone with the interim national coordinator who is going to put local because the United Arab Emirates right. is supporting us to construct a 100-bed hospital um, in Port Loco. Great and news. We, yes, yes, 100-bed hospital. Um, so it's the crown prince of um, Abu Dhabi, um, Mohammed bin Zayed, who is actually supporting us. So, And if you look at um, the proximity to Lungi Hospital and also the proximity to the border point, Balamuya, it's important that we choose Put local. So they are there to have a sense of what is happening there. So um, we will continue to cooperate with you. Um, we, for us at NACOVAC, your appointment came as a very great, great news. We welcome Thank it you. highly. Um, we believe that you are a compelling voice, um, a very tall stature in the entertainment industry. And we believe that you can always continue to work with you. Um, so let's, we'll take this as perhaps the first meeting. First meeting. Um, and let's continue to engage next week. And I, I think that um, um, we should be able to have entertainment events and, and be able to manage them responsibly course, because we look at other countries, people are having shows. I mean, as long as those things are very managed so that people who are attending those programs also know the responsibility they carry, what they should do, where appropriate you wear your face masks, where appropriate you have your social distancing, you know, I'm sure there are. The fact that um, the curfew has been lifted does not mean the end of COVID. Oh, and, right, you know, so right. there are some of the things that we still would continue to observe. And so this is the assurance we'll give to the entertainment industry that NACOVAC will cooperate with you to make sure that you are able to hold your events and we hold them in a responsible uh, right. manner so that we don't, our uh, decisions don't come back to haunt us. Definitely. And um, so I think this is a welcome development. And I thank really you. want to thank you, Cal De Nero, and wish you all the best on behalf of NACOVAC that thank you will excel in this very high office that His Excellency has conferred on you. Thank you very much, sir. Um, definitely, um, I want to extend my gratitude to your office mm -hmm. and um, the government of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. We have a listening president, you know, who really seek the interests of the youth. You know, um, I'm a manifestation of that. You know, me being in this position, a hip hop rapper and entertainer, mm -hmm. that speaks volume, you know, to our industry mm -hmm. to let the youth know that our president is a listening president. Mm -hmm. And um, as soon as I took, I started my um, appointment. The first task, because I understand entertainers, mm -hmm. I am one of them. I've been through this. Mm -hmm. I know their frustrations. Um, one thing that they lament on always is they see all the events going on, things happening. So they ask this question, why us? Mm -hmm. You know, why are we starving? Mm -hmm. But now they have one of their own representing them. This is the great thing. Mm -hmm. So I want to just appeal to all my fellow entertainers to see this as an encouraging start. You know, um, we have a brother and a friend mm -hmm. in NACOVAC, and I believe he will listen to us whenever we knock the doors. Mm -hmm. He will open for us mm -hmm. and listen to us. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very encouraging we embrace this news. Mm -hmm. I believe as time goes on, things will develop. Mm -hmm. There will be a time where all the artists will be able to perform mm -hmm. and make their money. Because mm -hmm. I don't feel good when I'm performing mm -hmm. and somebody else is not. Mm -hmm. And I believe the capacity where I find myself is really not about myself. Mm -hmm. It's for the whole industry, yeah. for all of us. Yeah. So I'm continuing mm -hmm. to appeal to you mm -hmm. so that you can see some sense in making this happen mm -hmm. for us. You know, commend the president, the whole NACOVAC, mm -hmm. everybody here in this building. Mm -hmm. God bless. Thank you so much. And I take the opportunity as well to to acknowledge the presence of my dear friend and brother, Mr. Magai of State House Communications. And it's good that you're here because we <laughs> work closely with State House on matters of this nature, the presidential task force and all of that. So um, it's good that we are all meeting in, under one roof and we'll continue to engage. And I give my unflinching um, assurance to the entertainment sector that we will cooperate and work closely together so that we have our events and hold them responsibly. 
and I thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.